All right, I'm back with more hardcore cornography. This is uh, we're gonna grill some corn, obviously. Grill is nice and hot. I got some corn there. I'm gonna do it two different ways. I'll show you that kind of style. And then in this little bag, I got whole corn. And this actually gives it kind of a unique flavor. Nothing else quite like it. You just throw it on there whole, just like that. And uh, you just roast it on one side till it's nice and dark. And then you roast it on the other side until it's nice and dark. And it sits in there and sort of steams inside of its own husk. It's just quite lovely. It's quite lovely. Over here, this is going to be a little tough to film, but uh, I'll one handed here. I need like a head cam, I think. So, this is how I usually do corn. I'm going to do one a different way. But I usually just rub it with butter all over. This is what's tricky to do with one hand. But it's coming along. And you can rub it pretty heavily. I mean, if I wasn't holding the camera, I would probably be two handing it and getting a fat layer of butter on there. Yeah, just uh, rub it with some butter, just like that. And then throw it straight on. And it starts popping and getting charred. You can also just throw it straight on, unbuttered. And just cook it straight. This is going to be like a standard Mexican style elote uh, for this one here. This one I'm just going to squirt some lime juice on it when it's done. And uh, yeah, grilled corn three different ways. And uh, we'll do finished product once uh, all this stuff is all good and golden. All right, we're in business now. Looking good. You can see that's nice and black on that side. I'm going to turn the heat off completely. And uh, that's good. Uh, I still hope to do a campfire cooking kind of deal, but I will say if you're camping this time of year, if you take whole corn like this and just throw it into the campfire until it's black on the outside and then sort of sit it off to the side to sort of steam in its own little husk. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, so here's the dry one. Uh, this is the one that we use some butter on. That's a perfect char. You want just a little bit of black. Makes it taste so good. This one, we're just going to squirt some lime on it. Which is, this is how I usually do it. I butter it up, grill it, and then juice it. And you can do a little bit of salt on there as well. Whatever you want. I do have a little money spice sitting off to the side. I'm going to hold off on that. That's really nice right there. And then you have traditional style Mexican elote. And with the elote, I don't have any cotilla, which is the Mexican, the crumbly Mexican cheese that you would normally put on there, but I do have some sour cream. Rub a very thin layer all across it. So again, two hands would be nice for this, but it's all right. Saving up for a head cam. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, a little bit of that. Also, a little squeeze of lime on this one also. There we go. And that's that. Turn it over. Beautiful. And then we got our little money spice, which you could use straight cayenne pepper or a little spice blend, whatever you got. This is basically just salty spicy with a little garlic powder that I call Money Spice, which is also on the 180 Kitchen site. Anyway, that's that. You got a lote on the left and just a straight grilled Mexican corn with uh, some lime juice on that. Those are those there. I'm not gonna open them up and show them to you guys, but they get really nice and roasted in there and they retain all their moisture, so. Yummy stuff. That concludes, I think, our cornography for this wonderful corn season. And this is Colorado Olathe sweet corn, which I will go ahead and call the best in the world. And if you have had it and you think it's not the best, then I'll, I'll accept that. But, you know, if you just think yours is the best, you never tried this, well, that doesn't count. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm rambling now. Thanks again. This is Matt Stone of 180 Degree Health. Doing some corn.